Hey guys and welcome back to another train simulator video and today we're going to be driving the Armstrong Powerhouse class 456 in the beautiful Network Southeastern livery on the 1742 London Bridge to London Victoria service so yeah let's get the train ready now if we can remember where all the buttons are okay, on the key Turn that off. So we can change the destination board somewhere here, which uh, I'm not too sure where. Um, to this side? But maybe on this livery you can't uh, change it, but I think on one of them you can. I'm pretty sure, but yeah. It's already set up anyway. London Bridge via Peckham Rye. We can on the light, so let's do that. We need to go in the cab to do that. There we go. Take a nice screenshot. And yeah, so we're going to be stopping at um, South Bermondsey, Queen's Road, Peckham, Peckham Rye, Denmark Hill, Clapham High Street, Wandsworth Road, and London Victoria. And actually, we're stopping at Bad Sea Park as well. So yeah, this route used to exist, uh, I think, 45 years ago. But now, uh, the route between Queenstown Road, Peckham, and Wandsworth Road Station is run by London Old Ground Services. So there's no need for this uh, train train lineup, basically. Yeah, we're just gonna wait for departure. I do miss seeing these uh, four, five, sixes uh, on the line. Seem to travel and uh, depart from uh, Wandsworth Road Station towards Clapham High Street. They did run only in like a two car formation anyway, so. Don't think it was a very busy line, but. If it did need to go from London Bridge to London Victoria, then I guess it's convenient. And it only takes around 25 minutes as well, so... Pretty fast, I would say. And this is kind of called the Inner Circle service, so if you do own the South London network route, then... There is a cream of story called Inner Circle. So, like, basically that's between London Bridge and London Victoria. Via the Inner Circle, via Pick and Ray. And then there's the outer circle which goes via Crystal Palace, which, which is a much longer route, but, but that's with a 377 and I think 12 car formation, so that's pretty busy on peak times. But yeah, so far so good. Can we open the windows? Yes, we can. I'm liking this uh, Palm Chung Parallels 456 already. A lot more realistic, good sounds, etc. Can swivel the fan. Unfortunately, the radio doesn't work. Can on the light as well. So our first stop will be South Bermondsey. So you get like five or six scenarios with this um Power House 456 pack. And you do need to own the South London network to play the scenarios. Southeast. We are now approaching South Bermondsey.
The brakes are pretty decent. And we are driving only a four car, two car train, sorry, so. Shouldn't take too long to slow down. Let's see if there's a passenger view. Uh, no, there isn't. There is no passenger view, unfortunately, so. Can't show you guys that. But I am liking the destination, but it looks really nice. Clear and crystal. London Bridge by Peckham Rye. So, I think on the southern uh, livery version of this train, uh, you can, there's a destination board changer over here, which you can change. I was thinking it was on this one, but I guess not. Pretty sure you can't change it in this uh, variant of the 456. Kind of wish you could, but I guess they've only implemented it on the other ones. There is actually a scenario with the 456 Southern livery, which, should look, which actually looks really, really nice, so I will do that uh, eventually. I think it's a West Croydon to uh, London Bridge or London Victoria run, so that should be really fun to drive. But yeah, next station is Creens Road, Peckham. This station kind of confuses me with uh, Queenstown Road, which is on the Southwestern Railway Network. said somewhere here that you have to close the door by itself but they close automatically so maybe you can do that uh, manually if you will try but yeah we are now approaching Queen's Road Peckham platform 2 uh, do you have an ETA for the station no we don't What did it say? This means... Let me read this. Uh, so please insert the door key switch on the second man side of the door cab. This means... Okay. Not too sure exactly where it wants me to do this. Oh, it's here. Okay, there we go. So... I guess we have to do it manually now. Door switch. I'm not too sure how to close the doors. Oh, here. Is that doing it? Too sure, actually. You know what? Let me s disable this. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not too sure which key it is to uh, manually do it, but you can do that for this service. But next station is Pekarai, where you can change for, I guess, southeastern services only. Not too sure if Famsing services ran. Uh, when Network Southeast were running. We are slightly late because I don't know how to close the doors manually, but anyways. That's on that side basically, for the key. There's a few other things you can do with this train, but you will have to read the manual to do it, but 
I just wanted to play and drive the train as soon as possible, so I just went straight on the game and found the most interesting scenario to play. But yeah, we are coming up to uh, Peckham Rye. Here for South Eastern services. To be fair, fair that these services could probably run with non overground services on this line because overground services only run every 15 minutes anyway, so they could have the southern services run maybe every half an hour or so or something like that. Just to make it a bit more busier and maybe more people will use the line that way. I know stations like Peck and Rye and Denmark Hill get quite busy. So obviously you can change for southeastern services as well. Station Denmark Hill. Okay, one thing we have another is put them uh the rear lights on, so let's actually do that. Um I know how to. Not too sure. I'm sure there's a button somewhere, but yeah, this train sounds really nice. Coach Denmark Hill. I want to take a nice screenshot, but unfortunately, I think I missed my moment. So we have these two platforms for the southern services, but now obviously they're run by the old ground. And these two are for the southeastern services and fainting services. I think southeastern stuff here, I'm pretty sure. If I am wrong then, I do apologize. I should know this because I have traveled on this route many times. But the next station is Clapham High Street. Change here for Clapham North, Nova Line. It's like a five minute walk away, so not too far. Pretty convenient actually. Gonna switch to natural rail to uh, underground. So you got Clapham High Street, Wands of Road, Battersea Park, and London Victoria. So yeah, you do get a bunch of deliveries uh, with this train. So one is with uh, Connex. One is the, this one, Network Southeast. We've got a few Southern deliveries.
I believe that's Prick Sensation. I'm pretty sure. And yeah, it looked like Prick Sensation to me, so. That's how the Southeastern services go. Yeah, that is Prick Sensation, definitely. There is a bit of a journey between Clapham High Street and Denmark Hill. And once off road, it's not too far away. Approaching Clapham High Street. And this train is ready to depart, please mind the doors. Next station, Once of Road. Just around the corner. We won't go too fast because this platform is really short, and I do sometimes uh, go around it slightly. I think for sure anyway. Maybe. But it might be okay. Just about. Yeah, just about okay. I didn't say this platform was very short and I was not mistaken. Can't quite take a nice screenshot, I guess this one not too bad. So it's a 6 o'clock in game now. We've got the Southeastern services. I knew a Southeastern service. Or maybe I couldn't. I don't know. I thought I could hear one, but I guess not. Next station, Battersea Park. So I have to arrive at Victoria at 18.08, so got plenty of time for that.
approaching Biasi Park. Change there for summon services. Timing. Would have been a nice screenshot, but it's poles in the way, so unfortunately that got kind of ruined. To be fair, that's not too bad. Do we green signal? Yes, we do. Okay, let's get going. The next station is London of the Troy, where this train terminates. All change, please, all change. This train terminates here. We are somewhat early, so we might be held up a bit. We got a 20 mile now, it's really make uh, coming up, so no point going too fast. And we are most likely going to be held up, but hopefully, it will allow us to arrive on platform 9 a bit early. Got all the other signals, that's not too bad. Yellow signal, so we're good to uh, grab on platform nine. station. I can see a 377 there. So yeah, stay tuned for more videos with the class 456. I do have a few more of videos I'm gonna be posting soon, so stay tuned for that. We are arriving early, but that's absolutely okay. I guess we can go right to the end of the platform, I guess. I don't want my passengers to be walking for like at least two minutes just to exit the platform. That would actually annoy me a lot. So yeah, that's uh, one of the other liveries you get. The Connex livery, yellow and white. I did do a video with the Class 319 Armstrong Powerhouse with that livery, so... That was a really nice video to do. But yeah, you got that same delivery with the uh, 456 as well. 
And that's going to London Bridge via Pick and Ride as well, so I guess. I just want to know how on the. what do you call it? Rear lights. Oh, here we go, tail lights. I think I should do it, yeah. Is it? Oh, yeah. No, that's wrong, that's not it. Hmm, not too sure actually. Signal bell. Well done, driver. That's just short journey completed on this pleasant evening. So yeah, guys, that was a 1742 London Bridge for London Victoria service. I will show you the other scenarios you get with the Armstrong Powerhouse 456. So I believe it's this one. Yeah, not this one. This is the one with the cool looking livery, as you can see from the picture. So I'll probably be doing that next. This is the Southern livery. Um, this is Southern. This one is with the Connex livery. And obviously that's the one that we've done. So yeah, you got five scenarios in total. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy that one. If you did, give it a like, share with your friends. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Yeah.